All right, guys, no messing around. Welcome back. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. But let's jump right in because we have the ultimate package that I've been waiting for for I don't even know how long. Okay, you guys, uh, let's just be honest. I don't know how long I've been waiting for this, but let's go ahead and jump right in because there's no time to waste because I got to figure out was this a good purchase or not. All right, guys, first look into the package. I'm really trying to contain myself, you guys, because you guys know me. I always am pretty excited, so I'm trying to just play this one down just a little bit. Ooh, baby, okay, okay. Our first pair right here <clears throat> of Linemans, not completely bad. Uh, definitely a good wall piece. Um, definitely good condition, it's very nice. Not what we bought it for, okay? These are the glow in the dark, uh, straight side cutters. Uh, also, not what we bought this for. Moving on, our next piece, these are the glow in the dark needle nose. Moving on to the next piece is the glow in the dark strippers. Um, also, good condition. But what we've been waiting for for so long, it is in my hand. All right, you guys, we're gonna do a reveal. <sighs> I'm literally trying to contain myself right now. Here we go. Ooh, oh, it's inside, it's inside. This one is specially packaged. Oh my gosh, this is an original. Oh baby, perfect. Oh my gosh. All right, you guys, this is the one that I've been waiting for for so long. This is the Glow in the Dark 6-in-1. It is original. So the only person that knows how to actually modify these is Tommy J. Um, so I wasn't too concerned that he would sell me one of um, his modified tools because he makes a 5-in-1. Um, but this is the original 32451 GLW. As you know, I learned that because I'm obsessed. Uh, this is pretty much brand new, um, like new, in good condition, like it said on the listing. Um, there's like a little like worn spot, which means like, obviously, you know, when you use these tools, uh, they do like yellow a little bit. And that's just like from like grime and stuff like that. So there's like a little grime spot right here, but I'm not worried about that. But the tool is pretty much brand new, as you can see how white it is still. Um, and it does have the 32451 GLW on the top. Um, and it's literally pretty much brand new. There's like one little ding in it, like, like, but... No big deal, it's on the plastic. Um, so to see all the letters still is still amazing. So let's just go ahead and take this apart. So this is, is like I said, it's a six in one. It is basically a big Phillips and a small Phillips, a big flat blade and a small flat blade. So um, as you can see here, we have the big side. So the big Phillips and the big uh, flat blade right here. And then on the other side, it is the small Phillips and this small flat blade. It would have been great, you know, if it was brand new and I could just, Leave it on the wall and complete the brand new glow in the dark set. But um, just to even get my hands on one of these, I am truly happy um, because this is something that I have been looking forward to for several weeks, months, uh, you know, years. I never really cared to get one, but as soon as I realized like, oh, they don't make these anymore, I want to complete my set. I actually like really wanted one, so I'm super happy to get my hands on one of these. What I really want to see is if I can reuse this barrel with my 11-in-1, if I can switch out the bits, which I really don't think that I can because these are so big. Um, if I can reuse that, then I will daily use the 6-in-1. So um, I'm going to see right here real quick if I can use... I actually kind of can. Looks like the shaft doesn't really accept the square bits or any of the other bits. There's not really a stopper in there, so um, if I go to use this, it could actually get stuck in there and we really do not want to get something stuck in there because you'll probably never get it out there's a blocker in the middle so if you push something in there it's going to get stuck like right here and that would be very bad and a waste of a lot of money i don't think this is going to work oh no that one oh oh see this is what i'm talking about see it just got stuck in there oh, and i have a little room to grab it so unfortunately the 11 and one the 11 and one pieces do not interchange um, but I'm going to safely and quickly remove this barrel before it gets permanently stuck because that would be very bad. Anyways, like I said, the 11 one unfortunately does not convert over with the pieces. Uh, I'm super excited to finally get this. I'm going to be hanging this one on the wall 
just because I really can't use it in the field. I already have the glow in the dark uh, Phillips and the glow in the dark flat blade. So this is kind of pointless because I do have the 11 in one, which I need the pieces for to work with. So unfortunately I can't use this in the field. I could put it in my tool bag, but it would just be extra weight because I would never be using it, unfortunately. Uh, but I'm super happy with this purchase. As far as the listing of the tools goes with what I actually got, I'm very happy. Everything is pretty much as it says. These tools were used. These tools are like new. So um, pretty, pretty accurate for the most part and uh, really happy. The only thing that I really care about is that this one is in uh, pretty good condition. So I'm extremely happy with this purchase. Um, I got all these for $100 and literally I was probably gonna pay like $200 for this screwdriver by itself. So I'm super happy that I could get all these tools for a decent price, especially with the screwdriver, which people are going crazy over the screwdriver right now, if you could tell. If someone wants to buy the dikes, the linemans, and the needle nose, shoot me a message. Uh, I'll give you a fair price on it. Anyways, guys, that's gonna end off the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you for following me along with this journey. My journey is finally complete. I've become a man today. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out. All right, so if you guys want a closer look, this is what the Glow in the Dark 6-in-1 looks like. It has an imprinted Klein Tools uh, logo right there. Um, and then on the back side, it says the model number 32451GLW. Like I mentioned, there is one little ding right there, but who really cares? Um, amazing condition, pretty much brand new. It looks like it's barely been used. Uh, no damage, really. These actually could be the original models because um, I know they did have original strippers and they brought out a second pair of strippers, but I don't know if they were the same model number.